Welcome to the next episode of Deacons with D. I am Dietmar Ostermann. I'm your host this afternoon, and I'm the regular guy from Long Island. I took a couple of weeks vacation. It's beautiful midsummer, but I'm back, and I'm back with the absolute midsummer wine, French rose from the Provence region. Everybody loves rose every here and then and now, and particularly summertime is the time where you have to try your rosés. And yes, there are some rosés available in other parts of the world, but the unbeaten leader in rosés is still the southern end of the French vine region in southern Provence. I have selected here three of the uh, top rosés. All of them I bought at Total Wine, so chances are you can get those wines as well in your local Total Wine store. Let's get started with the Olema. Olema is um, a Côte de Provence Rosé, and all of these wines I'm tasting today are the 2020s. And all of them are rated 3.8 for the 2020 vintage on Vivino in America. So this is a pale pink rosé. Looking good in the glass. They are slightly chilled. Let's give it a sippy sip. The typical strawberry, all rosés typically have a little bit of strawberry and raspberry in here. So I have this as well. But on top of that, I have a lime and a lemon in the nose. Quite fresh. Let's give it a whirl. The finish is short, but the, um, the flavors of the wine are raspberry, strawberry, and a little bit of melon. Overall, very pleasing. I give this wine a 3.5. Jane, well, do you want to join me? I'm going to come join you. Okay, come join me. I thought that there was a lovely, lovely... Look, I have a team member here, Jane uh -huh. Schmidt. Yeah, I love rosé. I would like to try it out with you. Well, I just yeah. tried the Olema, and I gave it a 3.5. See what do you think. Give it a snippy step first. Lovely, lovely summer evening. Yeah. And we are sitting in Jane's front yard. Lovely. It's beautiful, redecorated. How do you like this wine? I do. Uh, very light, very airy. If you just want something smooth and you know refreshing, I think this is just lovely. And I detected a strawberry and a melon. Melon, yeah. I mm, okay. Not bad, not bad. Very light on the palate. Smooth finish. I think. Yeah, it's really nice. It's very drinkable. Very drinkable. Are uh, we going to have to pour this behind our back? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. Belly shows. All right, next glass, Jane. Okay. This one here is another Southern Provence wine. The La Grande Vigne, a Coteau Vario en Provence, 2020 as well. Total wine, I think this one is $18. Okay, cheers. Give it a sniffy sniff. Mm. Those aromas are a little bit deeper. Would I detect raspberry in this? Like Definitely. Berries? Definitely raspberry. More raspberry than the last one had. They all have a little bit of raspberry in it, but the, the, the Olema was a little bit more strawberry. Right. This is much more raspberry. Mm -hmm. I'll take it out. Are you ready for a whirl? Yeah. Let's do a whirl. What do we think? Interesting. I think it's a good drink on a summer afternoon. It has more body than the other one. Yeah. Yeah. It's, a, like it. it's a bigger wine. It's not as light, but um, still very, very pleasing to drink. 
They might put ice in, in a rosé. That's why people like rosé, right? Well, they're all a little bit cool. Yeah, but I'm saying something like this, I would like a little bit cooler, like a yeah. really cold drink, yeah. like refreshing almost. Okay. As so what, what, are you, what are you going to give this one? Um, a scale of 1 to 5. I like it a little better than the last one. So okay. you gave it a 3 point what? I gave that one a 3 5. I haven't scored this one yet. Okay, what's out of what? Out of 4? Out of 5. Oh, out of 5. Okay, well we can definitely go up to a 4. Okay. I'm going to give it a 3 point. Okay. Jane gives it a four. I give it a four too. This is a pretty significant wine. Okay. That's four behind our back. All right, the last one. Last one I'm very excited about. Oh, yummy. Damaram, Le Beau de Provence. It's pretty. Much yeah, prettier. Yeah, this one has a much pinker color. Yes, huh? very nice. This almost looks champagne-ish, like a blush champagne. It does. It does. Very pretty. Cheers. Let's give it a sniff. I feel like I should be out on a yacht with this one. Yeah. You know, be out on the bay. No, it's a little bit perfumed. So. Yeah, strawberry, clearly. You're right, it does have a perfume smell to it. Like a... Maybe I should do this. Yeah. There you go. All right, a whirl. Oh. I don't know how to describe it other than very pretty. It's a pretty smell and a pretty taste. It's a little sweeter. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't also, mind it at all. Also a nice light mm. summer wine. You know, usually with wines, when I drink one after the other, I like the first one the best. Yeah, I've this, seen that with you. I know. I always like the first one and then they all taste. Okay. This, I'm going better and better. This I'm one gonna is say pretty this good. Is, this one is my favorite so far. Okay. I agree with that. 4.2. Yeah. We're going to go. We're going to go there. All right. So out of this threesome, the Damaran Le Baudet Provence wins. And I believe, cheers, I believe this bottle is $17 at Total Wine. It's a steal, ladies and gentlemen. Get two. Two. Okay. Love it. And thanks for joining me in this show. Thank you. We see you again Bye, next Sunday.